Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Max Severus Phillips. I'm director of the UNDP Global Center for Public Service Excellence. And it's my great pleasure uh, and uh, with deep thanks that uh, I would like to convey my strong appreciation that you have all come today, but particularly to thank Prime Minister Lord Tui Vakano, uh, Prime Minister of Tonga, who has come all the way from the middle of the Pacific to help us consider the issues around small island developing states and complexity. I would also like to extend a very warm welcome to his cabinet secretary, uh, Mr. Palu, and to uh, our other speakers on the program. I think this is a very interesting and important subject. What we are hoping to do today, by looking at the questions of the challenges faced by small island developing states, uh, and I think we have a lot of material that we have provided to you about the strengths and weaknesses as suggested in the academic literature uh, around small island developing states, to think through how that relates to recent developments in thinking about the issues arising from complexity and complexity theory and ideas around the challenges and opportunities that new thinking in international development reflecting on ideas on complexity can have and be operationally useful for small island developing states, particularly in light of the third United Nations conference on small island developing states, which is taking place this year in Tonga's neighbor, Samoa. The importance, I think, of new ideas on complexity is that it raises issues which I first came across, what I still think is a very fascinating and interesting book called Seeing Like the State by James Scott, which is, of course, a great classic in international development and political science, but the whole nature of planning and rigid ideas about how development happens and what complexity theory and ideas around complexity are helping us to think through is how we get away from the very normative linear concepts uh, about how development happens. So I'm very much looking forward to this afternoon's conversation because from the point of view of the United Nations Development Program Global Center for Public Service Excellence, these issues are going to be, I hope, a major part of the work that we will be looking at over the next year or so to help UNDP think through these issues and look at the nature of the evidence. Our center is mandated to deliver two things for UNDP to provide a center of knowledge and also to provide an opportunity to bring together thinkers and practitioners to consider new developments and how to approach international development in a different way. And today's meeting 
brings these two together uh, in a, what I hope will be a very challenging, helpful and innovative manner. Because as far as I can see, this is the first meeting, the first event where these two subjects, ideas around complexity and ideas around the challenges and opportunities that small island developing states have been brought together. So by the end of this afternoon, I would very much hope that we have made progress in thinking through what Prime Minister Lord Tuivakanon needs and other leaders of small island developing states need to know about complexity and how that can assist small island developing states to make and achieve faster levels of international development uh, goals to be achieved. So the issues that uh, small island developing states face and the nature of uh, being islandness, being islands, the whole question of uh, interrelation of issues being amplified in small states, the strengths around the social capital of in small islands, how do these issues, which are probably as complex as anywhere else, how are these issues uh, can be informed by understanding complexity? So, what I uh, would very much like us to think through and the conversation that we will have today is how can a center like my uh, center on uh, Global, um, Global Center for Public Service Excellence, work with the academic community here at Lee Kuan Yew and elsewhere to provide the type of evidence that can improve policy making uh, for small island developing states. We have a fantastic panel uh, of experts in the, this area uh, and uh, I believe the discussion we will have today will enable us to make significant progress. So without more ado, those are the challenges that I would, in a broad sense, like us to think through. But it is now my pleasure to invite the Prime Minister of Tonga, Lord Tuivakano, to the stage to provide us with the keynote speech to open this conference. So, Your Excellency, uh, the floor is yours. Thank you very much. <laughs> 